Magnus class, welcome to our math channel. Today we're going to be talking about addition with or without regrouping. And we're going to use two different strategies to help us solve our equations. Mir, I can fluently add within 100. I can fluently add within 100. Let's go ahead and get started. Our first strategy is the number string strategy. What's it called? That's right, the number string strategy. To use the number string strategy, you have to understand place value and expanded form. Our first equation is 45 plus 23, which equals an unknown sum, because whenever we're adding, we're trying to find the sum. Now let's go ahead and look at our first add-in. I need to break down the number 45 based on its place value. I have five ones and four tens. Four tens is equal to what whole number? That's right, four tens is equal to 40. 40 plus five gives us 45. Now let's go ahead and break down the number 23 based on its place value and its individual parts. There are three ones and two tens. Two tens is equal to what whole number? That's right, two tens is equal to 20. 20 plus 3 gives us the number 23. Now, to complete the number string strategy, I have to add the 1s and then I have to add the 10s. Let's start with the 1s. 5 plus 3 equals what? You can, use, you can count on your fingers, you can draw objects. Use one of our previous addition strategies to help you if you need to. 5 plus 3 is 8. 5 plus 3 is 8. Now let's add our 10s. 40 plus 20. Hmm, this one's a little bit trickier, but don't get confused. Start with the ones place first. 0 plus 0 is 0, and 4 plus 2 is 6. So that gives us 60. Now we need to add these two numbers together. 60 plus 8 equals 68. So the sum of 45 and 23 is 68. Now, what if I changed my, num my 23, my add in 23, to the number 25? Okay, let's talk about what it might look like to complete the number string strategy when we have to regroup. We're going to do the same thing. Break it down based on its place value. We have five ones and four tens, which equals 40. For the number 25, we have five ones and two tens, which is equal to 20. What do we do first? We add our ones. Five plus five is what? This is a double. This should be easy, quick and easy. Five plus five is 10. 40 plus 20 is, we know from our previous equation, 40 plus 20 is 60. That gives us 60 plus 10. 60 plus 10 is 70. So 45 plus 25 gives us a sum of 70. You can use the number string strategy with regrouping or without regrouping. If you understand expanded form, and place value, the number string strategy is a great strategy to use when you're adding larger numbers. Now let's talk about expanded notation. Expanded notation essentially is again referring back to expanded form and place value. You have to understand those things. So you're basically doing the same thing you did in number strings, but you're lining it up a little bit differently. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to break down the first add-in. And our first add-in in our equation is 16. 16 is equal to 10 plus 6 because it has 6 ones and 1 10. Our next add-in is 53. There are how many ones? 3 ones 
and 5 tenths, which is equal to the whole number, 50. Now I'm going to add these vertically. 6 plus 3 is 9. 10 plus 50 is 60. 60 plus 9 gives us the whole number 69. This is our sum. 16 plus 53 equals 69. Now, let's change this equation a little bit. And show you what it would look like to use expanded notation when you have to regroup. My equation now reads 16 plus 25 equals an unknown number, an unknown sum. Let's break it down into expand, its um, expanded form for each number. The expanded form of 16 is what? How many ones? Six ones. How many tens? That's right, one ten. One ten is equal to the number ten. Now I need to break down the number 25 write it in expanded form. There are how many ones? Five ones. And there are two tens. Two tens is equal to what whole number? That's right, 20. Now I'm going to add these. Start with your ones. Six plus five is what? That's right, six plus five is 11. Now let's add our tens. 10 plus 20 is 30. 30 plus 11. What is 30 plus 11? You can add your ones place first. That's one, zero plus one is one. And add your tens place, three plus one is four. Your sum of 16 and 25 41. So that's how you use the number string strategy or the expanded notation strategy to help you add within 100 when you're working with larger numbers. I want you to go ahead and practice this strategy and then complete your uh, math assignment for today and we'll see you next time.